My name is Rosana Colepardo. I'm a Winton Advanced Research Fellow at the Department of Physics and also a lecturer between the Departments of Genetics and Chemistry. Um, I'm also a mom of two young children, Emma, who is three, and Mark, who is five years old. The group is part of the theory rig, but we work in close collaboration also with members of the biological rig. I am from Mexico City, which is a megalopolis, and I study their chemistry as an undergrad at the National University of Mexico. I grew up in a low-income family, so I'm well aware that there is this big class barrier to becoming a scientist. What really helped me to get to where I am now is uh, coming across with fantastic mentors and teachers who helped me um, develop strategies to overcome the barriers that um, I was facing. With the support of these mentors, I first went from Mexico City to Oxford to do a field in theoretical chemistry. Then um, I was a Schlumberger Faculty for the Future Fellow at New York University, and then a Marie Curie Fellow um, at the Barcelona Institute of um, Biomedical Research. And uh, finally, I came here to Cambridge where I started my research group. More recently, I think one of the biggest challenges I have faced in my career so far is um, starting my research group while also becoming a new mom and taking two career breaks for maternity. Our group um, works on developing new computer models, molecular simulation methods. We use tools from soft matter physics and statistical mechanics in, and we aim at understanding the collective behavior of lots of proteins and nucleic acids that interact with one another inside cells. And one of our main, main interests is understanding the link between genome structure and function. And in this kind of area, computational modeling is crucial because it allows us to get close-up views um, of how the molecules behave inside uh, these condensed domains that are very, very hard to obtain with experiments. The idea here is that we have over two meters long of DNA in each of our cells, and this has to be extremely condensed to fit into the tiny nucleus of the cells, which are almost one million times smaller. And um, different ways of compressing and folding this same DNA information can lead to completely different outcomes. For instance, direct cells to become brain cells rather than heart cells. Growing up, I was really lucky to have uh, parents that inspired me to mainly think rationally and also creatively and freely. Experiences from my everyday life, like looking at how my mom uh, on a daily basis was trying to find um, out of the box solutions for some like everyday challenges that we face. Poverty also comes with discrimination, obviously, which is based on irrational arguments. And this is one of the main reasons as well that I love um, the rationality of um, the scientific method. I thrive solving hard problems and I love challenges. I find and um, very, very entertaining to uh, try to find creative solutions for problems. Um, I'm also a computer geek. I started programming in BASIC when I was seven years old and was cooked since then. Now, finally, if I had to give advice to my younger self, imposter syndrome um, is very common in academia more than I would have thought um, and um, it's not necessarily bad because I think it comes hand in hand with being self-critical which is a crucial skill in science um, uh, so I would just say um, embrace it don't second guess yourself and go for it thank you